Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of the White Label uh, tutorial series. In part 6 we're going to be looking at uh, buying and selling items from shops. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to um, add buy and sell prices for items. Um, and we're going to do this, uh, it's going to be pretty simple and um, static pricing and we're just going to add it to the items uh, database uh, the items table then we're going to want to add a gold a field for the players gold on the players uh, database table and then we're going to start setting up shop tables <coughs> so Let's focus on them three things first. If we come over to our um, database and we go into the games items table. As you can see, um, we've got the items, name, type, um, and stats. We just go into the structure and we're going to add two fields uh, onto the end of this table. The first one we're going to do is do a buy price, and the second field will be a sell price. We can leave these as integer types. So, looking at it, everything um, costs nothing to buy and it sells for nothing. So, we're going to want to go in and um, add prices. Generally, um, buy price is going to be higher than the sell price. So I'll uh, fill these in for these items and we can come back afterwards. Okay so I've updated the um, table to contain buying price and selling prices. I haven't put much thought into what the prices are but all the buying prices are higher than the selling prices. So that's um, the first part done. And now we've got to go back over to the database and add a gold field to the players. So again we'll come over to the structure and we'll just add another um, field on the end. And we'll just call this player gold. Again it'll be an integer value, and unsigned, and we'll save it. Currently our player has zero gold. I'm not going to change that because we can gain gold by selling um, selling the items to the shops. Now for adding uh, setting up a shop table, um, we'll start off by just adding a new table, call it shops. I'm going to give it three fields for now. The first one will be the shop ID, uh, followed by a shop name and stock. So the shop ID will be an in, uh, integer value and we'll have this auto increment with a primary index. The shop name will be a varchar uh, type and the stock will make it a text type and you'll see why shortly. <coughs> so we'll save that and we'll insert a new shop. Our first shop um, we'll call food store and this is going to contain um, all of the food type items so if we to type and just search out all the one all the um, items which are the food type we have three items here we have grape berries and apple so our stock is going to contain all the, these three items. 
so what we're going to need to do is we'll put in those IDs into our stock um, our stock field so the first one ID was number one and we'll separate these by commas like so and we'll do the same for the second shop and we'll come back over to here And we'll get the we uh, the IDs for all the weapons, which is four and five. So I'm going to um, finish off the shops, and then we'll come back and look at um, programming these shops in. Okay, so I've added all the items and all the shops. We've got four shops. We've got a food store. We've got a weapon shop, an armor shop, and a material shop, and they cover the four types of items that we have in our games items table. The food store and the material shop each have three um, items in their stock, and the weapon shop and the armor shop both have two. So we're going to now um, start listing these, uh, we're going to list these shops out <coughs> so we come out, we start a new page and we'll copy all the normal uh, basic layout in so in our main um, TD block. I'm going to want to open and close some PHP brackets. And we're going to um, get a list of all of the shop all the shops in our shop um, database, in our shop table. So if we go query We want to select the ID and the shop name from shops and then execute that query. We're then going to want to perform a while loop to echo out all of this um, data that we've just um, received, uh, that we've just stored. So in paragraph uh, brackets, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to echo out the shop names for now. and we will save this as shop.php and we can now come over to our game and we'll just navigate to shop.php and we have it, we have our food store our weapon shop, armor shop and material shop so we're going to want to create links out of these and attach the ID um, to each of the shops So, <coughs> coming back to where we're echoing out our list, we will just add um, the A tags to surround the shop name and our href value uh, will just put our uh, query string on the end and just do visit followed by the ID number of the shop. So when we save that and come back over to here, the shops now have link the links. And as I scroll over the um, 
the shops the shop names you can see down there we will be visiting um, the shop with that ID okay so what we're now going to do is we're going to look at displaying the <coughs> items in the shop stock list and the problem we're going to have here is that this main area is filled up with our list of <coughs> items so we're going to need to determine whether we're actually <coughs> viewing a list of the um, shops or we are looking at a shops inventory list so to do this is pretty simple we want to do if um, our get variable of visit is equal to something or is set even so it is not set then we want to um, show our list of shops else um, we're going to show uh, um, all the shops information so when we click on our armor shop I'll save the file first and click on the armor shop nothing is displayed and this is because um, our get variable visit is has been set <coughs> so what we're going to need to do in here is we're going to need to set an ID of the um, get variable and to do this uh, we want to obviously run our, our usual uh, safety check and remove it, anything that isn't a uh, number and we're going to run a quick query and we're just going to select the shop name and it's stock from shop where the ID equals that ID and limit it to 1. Run the query. <coughs> and we're going to want to make sure that um, our shop exists. So what we'll do is we'll do a shop just uh, on a quick check with shop count which equals the number of rows returned um, from that query right, we're coming close to the end of this video so I will stop here and we'll carry on on the next one